Hey there everybody, welcome back here. We got another taste testing, this time by popular demand by a sub EV of the Discord. Make sure to join that link down in the description. We have the Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew Ice. Now Mountain Dew is not um it has done tons of features, tons of flavors before. It's not just its standard Mountain Dew. If you really actually think about it, there's tons of Mountain Dew sodas, like code red, there's there's blue stuff. Don't forget the gamer fuel too. But this is a lemon lime. And it's actually really good. Um, it's practically Sprite, but with caffeine. Uh, Sprite doesn't actually have caffeine in it. This does. So we're going to... Um, of course, this does not contain... Oh, it actually contains juice. 1% juice. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. We look at the directions here. Ingredients. High fructose corn syrup, so you know it's a good soda. Uh, carbonated water, natural flavors. Um, all the basic stuff from a Mountain Dew. Again... High fructose corn syrup, it's a, uh, it's a, a sugar-based product based off corn. Um, it's actually very popular, came around in the 80s due to the corn subsidies in America. Um, and then we also have two other uh, kind of like artisan Mountain Dews. They've done these before. Um, I've actually done a taste test. They call it Dew Shine. Um, I did a taste test of these before. Or not these, but I have a Dew Shine that came out a while ago. I was like, this is what Mountain Dew tasted like when it first came out. Again, if you don't know what Mountain Dew was originally, it was Mountain Dew, uh, moonshine, made in the hills, Mountain Dew. So, we're going to test out the uh, lemon lime, um, or the uh, ice. It's it's really good. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, we're going to put this down here, open this up, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of clear sodas. They actually released re-released um, Pepsi Crystal Clear, which actually wasn't that bad. But, uh, you know, maybe I should have done a video of that, but you gotta seem to like these. I'm gonna start putting these out once a week, and probably be about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I just, actually last night I did a one on energy drinks, but I'm gonna reshoot it as it was like 30 minutes. I'm like, this is way too long. So, it was all clear, it's nice and bubbly. Yeah, but yeah, if you, um... It's really good, but I think they're actually, this is a limited release, and I really don't see this. You might see this at gas stations a little bit more, but as your local, uh, you know, supermarket, they had a ton of them in the six-pack, and, and once in a while they had it in these containers that were like, hey, there's tons of these in the kind of like the, um, you know, room temperature area, and this is like the last one I saw at the store. I don't know if it did well, you know, the most popular drink now is still Coke, you know, it's, maybe it's not as, um, popular, but it, this is a really good drink, um, you know, it's sugary as hell, it's with 41 grams of sugar, holy shit, and that's high fructose corn syrup, um, the difference between regular plant sugar, that includes, like, you know, sativa, um, not sativa, stevia, coin, cane sugar, beet sugar, uh, you know, it's, it's, the molecule, molecule of sugar is a lot bigger. It's, it's, it's processed compared to just refined. Um, it's harder on your digestive system. And it's harder to break down. It's more likely to be stored. That's what I heard from a doctor in anthropology. That's what she told me. I, I, that sounds pretty cool. So, if you know exactly why for high fructose corn syrup is so bad, make sure to say something in the comments. Oh, God. It is definitely tastes like Sprite. Um, it's 7-Up. Sprite and 7-Up. Because those are the... Sprite is Coke, and 7-Up is its own brand by Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, we also have... Let's, let's seal this off for later. So we have these um, Mountain Dews that are kind of like black label, uh, a white label, and there's also, I saw a green label. Each one is based off like a kind of a fruity thing, Crafted Dark Berry, uh, and then we have the uh, Crafted Tropical Citrus. There's also a green one that's actually really good. It tastes like a very good sour apple. So we're going to try the, uh, the white one here. This is the Crafted Tropical uh, Citrus, and this is, again, just plain sugar... 35 grams of sugar per can, low sodium, no juice. Uh, wait, was that white grape juice? Oh, actually, it does have juice, I guess. 
Uh, it doesn't say anywhere on the bottle that it, on the can it does contain um, juice. Now this is your standard, uh, um, you know, 16 ounce energy drink like Rockstar or Monster. Though it is in, for me, this is in the area, I'm at a Safeway. The soda aisle and energy, uh, like sports drinks, wait, sports drinks is in the other aisle. It's like soda and then there's like this little area of like, you know, hippie drinks. There's also a couple other sodas that I want to check out. Uh, Mountain Dew's, Mountain Dew Kickstart, which is a, which is another, like, oh god, there's Amp too. <sighs> Jesus, there's so many, Mountain Dew so, does so many drinks. Uh, Mountain Dew is also a product of PepsiCo, or Yum, yeah, is that it? Where does it say Pepsi? Yeah, PepsiCo right there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much Pepsi and Coke are the number ones, and I, I think it's like regional for 7-Up and um, Dr. Pepper. So let's open this baby up. You can see it's a little bit clear. We're going to pour some a little bit out here. Just to see the color. It's pretty white. Um, I don't remember if I had this. This is a crafted, uh, tropical crafted. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of flavorless, really. Maybe I should drink some of this water and get some of that Mountain Dew ice out of the way. Yeah, this is, um, let's see. I'm not tasting anything here. Like, no, I'm not, like, tasting anything here. Like, this is a, um... This is definitely a kind of like, what the fuck am I drinking here? This is, I don't think I've ever actually had this. I've had the, uh, the black, the black label and the green label before. So I know exactly what they are going in, but I want to like, you know, tell you what this tastes like. It's, I taste a little bit of like passion and, and like a little bit of passion and a little bit of, now this has white grape. I don't taste the grape. Um, citrus acid, natural flavors, gum, orange juice. And that even has orange juice in it? What the fuck? Yeah, like you can see here. Orange juice. Uh, come on, focus, focus. There we go. Concentrated orange juice kind of right in the middle there. Su uh, sucrose, gum, Arabic. So I just find it really weird that there's... <sighs> hmm. This is a really plain soda. Um, it's it's lightly carbonated too. It's not as carbonated as like another traditional soda. Definitely a different taste. It's it's. I would not recommend this. It's because these are a little bit more expensive. These are in this like the solo cans, um, kind of like your monster, but I'm, your other energy drinks. But these are like you don't get these in a pack. These are individually you know packaged or individually like sold. I would not buy this. This is this. It doesn't taste like anything. It just. It kind of tastes like sweet carbonated water, if you kind of know what that is. So, again, the Mountain Ice Tea does taste like a 7 Up or a Sprite, but with caffeine. This actually has a lot of caffeine. Does it tell us how much caffeine it is? Ugh. Yeah. No, but there is caffeine in here. Uh, Sprite and 7 Up doesn't have caffeine. You can see it, like, right above the sodium right there. Uh, over to my right. Man, I'm I'm still like complex that this is um even kind of like the aftertaste, it just it doesn't taste anything. It doesn't taste anything. I'm gonna finish off with this black label. I think they're trying to go with like, you know, you know, the liqueurs or like this is the white label, this is the black red label Jameson and all that stuff. That's like, oh, wow, this is so fancy. But, of course, these are like, you know, $2 a can. But, you know, hey, I'm doing it for the views, man. My end game is going to be, hey, I'm drinking Tide Pods. No, I'm not. I'm never going to do that. That's an old meme. Okay, well, we can see here it's already purple here. That's actually pretty cool. Do a little, you know, taste test here. It's kind of a mixed berry. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, grape juice. Wait, what does this one have? This also had grape juice. Was it ripe grape? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's white grape concentrate and orange juice for the other juices. Of course, this doesn't say anything about juice on the can. So we got grape juice, citric acid, concentrate from orange juice, red, um, partially produced with genetically engineered. Okay, well, I mean, technically corn is... We'll talk about GMOs later on. Ooh, that has a bite. That has a bite. Um, hmm. That is. Woo. Ugh. It's not bad. Let's see actually the sugar about. 53 grams of sugar. Holy shit, dude. I am really glad I'm not a diabetic. Um, of course, this this bottle of Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew tends to have more sugar than your typical soda. This has 41 grams of sugar. That's is a 20 ounce can, or 20 ounce bottle. This has 35 grams for a 16 ounce um, bottle. Remember, when you're looking at your national facts, make sure to check out its one can. Um, if it does like 8 ounces, make sure to look at the serving size too. This has 53 grams of sugar. And that's of course, you know... Uh, regular sugar, probably beet sugar than anything. Usually when they say corn sugar, they say it. Um, but man, it is a sugary drink. I do taste a little bit of a grape. Kind of a light, lighter, um, more grape than this right here. I guess you could consider this like a wine. If we're, we're doing this analogy of wine, we got champagne, white wine, and uh, a red wine. <laughs> Holy shit, that is actually a good analogy. Um, actually, champagne, real champagne is only made in Ch um, Champagne, France. Um, that's, that's, that's where the name is. Uh, champagne is usually carbonated, at, carbonated. I don't know the actual, like, logistics of it, but that's the real difference. That's why it gets its bubby, bubbly. But yeah, this, this has, like, a really strong bite. Let's see. Again, this is not considered an energy drink. Usually energy drinks have... A kind of like B12 or taurine. I don't even see caffeine in this. No, oh, there's caffeine right there. Right there's caffeine. Okay. A lot more flavorful uh, than this, but it's this. Ooh, this has a bite. Um, I do recommend if you do. I the store didn't have the green apple, but that's actually pretty good. It's also a very sweet soda, but these are like really kind of expensive sodas. You're not gonna drink like. Maybe, I don't know, it's it's this weird time that we live in where we're all trying to be fancy now. And so, like, you got these fancy sodas. But, I, but again, this is the um, Mountain Dew kind of video here. It's, this Mountain Dew Ice is okay. It's it's nothing to write home about, though. It's it's decent enough. Um, you know, if they don't have Sprite or 7-Up, it's still a pretty good one. It also it does have caffeine compared to Sprite and 7-Up. Um, this white label Mountain Dew, you can probably skip this. This is, again, these are, like, kind of expensive, too. Um, but again, it's like, you know, white grape versus black, or, uh, versus, uh, you know, standard red grape. So, who knows? Maybe I just, you know, can't taste it that much. Uh, and then this black label here, the... Wait, craft, okay, crafted, I thought crafted black label here. Um, I, I still don't taste the, the citrus in this. I taste the guy. I taste the grape a little bit more in this, um, but th yeah, these 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 label ones do ha contain juice, though I don't know how much more. On the ingredients, the ingredients represent how much is in here. So we have carbonated water, sugar, uh, and then grape juice. So like those are the top three things in here. Um, so there's, you know, these are ordered in how much is in the can. So of course, car that's why you see in sodas carbonated water more. More uh, higher up sugar. Um, actually, I'm pretty impressed that there's more um, grape juice in here. Grape juice. But yeah, this this does have a bite. Um, would I recommend any of these? Not really. Like, this has a really strong bite. This is going to sit in your mouth for a while. This just tastes like 7-Up and um, Sprite, so... 
and I, I'm starting to not see this as prevalent in my store. It might be more common where you are. Again, I live in the Seattle, so it might be a regional thing. And this, you could kind of just skip altogether. Uh, but again, hey, if you want to test these out, make sure to, you know, take, you know, taste them. Of course, in my opinion, I would prefer this over this. And you know what? Personally, I would just rather prefer water overall. Oh, Jesus, that's getting burpy. Oh, God, I'm going to, like, throw up here. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, we got a couple more we're going to do. We're going to put these out every week or two weeks. It seems like a lot of you guys have, uh, like these. If you guys do want to see more of these, make sure to say something in the comments about, like, what do you want to see. Um, I've got some suggestions from, like, uh, some people what to do. Like, maybe look at, taste healthy food, taste really shitty food. Um, but it seems like you guys really like this. And we're going to start doing this a little bit more. Anyways, I'm Caboose967. Make sure to join our Discord. Link down in the description. Humble Bundle uh, down below. Humble Bundle Partner. Buy some PC games. And I'll see you in the next one.